Thanks for watching. Today's video, we're talking about the three reasons to update to Mosaic 13. Let's get into it. Okay, so reason number one, updating to Mosaic 13 is included in your package as a subscriber of Mosaic. So essentially, it's free. For free update to version 13, including some features. That's reason number one. So the second reason to update to Mosaic 13 is the great features that they've included in the optimizer. So there's two features in here that will be number two and number three included in the why to update to 13. So what you have to do is go to your optimizer, libraries, CNC tooling, because it's all within here. So the first one is in the ATC tool set. So if you have a tool changer, you have this ATT, ATC tool sets, you're gonna go to cut out by material. And currently we have one, two, three, four, five, six different tool sets. And each of these tool sets is made specifically because we wanna change the cutout tool. So now all we have to do is use this cutout by material you add the material you're trying to specify. So uh, I already have one set up here, which is the 19 millimeter MDF. We like to cut that through with the down shear, it gives a bit better finish. And then uh, let's say you wanna set up your 15.5 millimeter birch pre-finished, and I want my quarter compression to cut that. So now I have only one tool set which I would have had to have three different tool sets for these different materials. So super straightforward to use as well. Click OK, and then as you can see, it saves it in there. This is pulling up the materials in your material templates as well. So that's it for two. Number three. Number three is pretty cool. I've been bugging for this for a long time. We're going to go to CNC tooling again. So we're going to go to a cutout tool. Let's pick our 3 8 compression. Where are you? And then we're gonna go cutout options. So there's now this new thing called cutout strategy. So there's two big advantages to this. One is, hold on one second. Okay, so I have a half inch compression here. And focus, focus. Okay, so I have a half inch compression here. You could imagine that these two little tips here as it's plunging into the into the material, it's gonna start to wear those tips out pretty quickly if you don't, like if it's not, if it's constantly plunging, which in mosaic, it usually is plunging in every time. Every bit plunges down. But if it's dropping in and it's just staying down, the tool wears a lot better. It doesn't, it doesn't wear out the tool nearly as fast if it's just staying down the whole time. So another nice feature of stay down machining is that typically it holds the parts down a lot better than cutting out each part individually. And the reason for that is it intelligently kind of just cuts out the perimeter pieces. And as it's cutting out the pieces, they're all connected to the larger sheet. Whereas sometimes mosaic would come around and, um, you know, if I had a bunch of small parts here it might cut out the small parts right here and then try and cut this one out and of course we're going to lose that one because my vacuum's not that good so if you have a stay down machining we'll just do a little test run here so you could see what it's actually doing so it's keeping the parts connected to the sheet so it's still connected to the sheet it's just going all the way around the perimeter So everything here is still connected to the sheet. We haven't cut out any parts yet. It's just cutting out all the perimeter ones. And it's, they did mention that the tooling setup has changed. So obviously it's cutting out its first part here. Now it's cutting out the second part. 
cutting out the third part, fourth part, fifth part. It's not as intelligent as it could be where if it was to just cut out the uh, like small parts first, it would be amazing. But I mean, it's a good first step for Mosaic to get their feet wet on uh, stay down machining. I think that's a feature that more people will like than not. So I would say update to 13, give this a shot. And uh, I, in the very least, it's going to make things better for you. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great one. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.